We start this tutorial with a unified and registered point cloud, vertically oriented and with the desired unit of measurement, here in meter. Click several points around the shell of the tank or force the Z-axis to fit the geometrical shape with the measured model. Extend the cylinder to be sure that it exceeds the borders of the tank shell. Now, we are going to separate the points located on the shell. Select both the cloud and the cylinder. Go to Clean, Separate according to distance. This command explodes one cloud into two parts, here according to a distance of the points from the surface of the cylinder. Keep both clouds if you want to compute the volume or make sediment analysis later on. Do not hesitate to use the clean separate function to manually finish the separation, in case there are still points considered as far that you want to take back and merge with the tank shell cloud. This command create a new point cloud based on the ground points without the piping. Set the maximum slope of the ground. It represents the general slope that can be seen. Put to the left, in order to choose a small angle slope. Try first with the default parameters, then change the settings if necessary. Choose the fast extraction strategy if your data is fairly smooth. Since we do not want to keep the points of the roof frame, where this would give a bad mesh result, the direction must be downwards, thus minus Z, 